I don't know about you, but my Mac is a very personal thing to me. It's like my digital personal space and I like to rearrange this space, add new elements and keep things fresh. If you're like me and want to make your Mac a little bit more unique, this video is for you. Let's go through 10 cool apps that will make your MacBook better. If you are a Mac user looking to declutter your menu bar and make your desktop more streamlined and functional, you'll definitely want to check out the first app on our list, Vanilla. As someone who likes to keep things clean and organized, I can't recommend Vanilla enough. With just a few clicks, you can easily hide all those pesky icons in your menu bar to distract you from what's really important. Don't worry, you can quickly unhide them whenever you need to access them. As a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to my workspace, I really appreciate how much cleaner my menu bar looks with vanilla. It's just one less thing for me to worry about when I'm trying to focus on my work. Trust me, once you start using vanilla, you won't know how you ever left without it. The app itself is free, but there is a paid version that has a couple of extra features, but for me, a free version is more than enough. The second app is also great for people like me who hate distractions, haze over. This app basically fixes a big macOS problem. Very vague separation between active and inactive apps. By default in macOS, to find out which app is active, you need to look in the top left corner near the Apple logo. Hazover fixes this problem rather nicely. It just highlights the active window and dims all the other windows, making it easier to focus on your work. I multitask a lot and in all that madness of clicks and app switches, I often end up confused about what's active right now. But with Hazover, it's like having a virtual spotlight that highlights exactly what you're working on without any distractions. Plus, it has the focus integration, which allows me to specify how dim I want an active apps to be in every focus mode. The app is not free, but it costs only $4.99 and has a free trial, so check it out when you have a chance. The third app on my list is also neat for people like me, Unclutter. Basically, Unclutter combines three apps into one, notes, files, and clipboard. There is no clipboard app in macOS, so Unclutter really shines here, giving you the option to see everything you've copied recently. It works by creating a hidden panel that you can pull down from the top of your screen whenever you need to access your notes, files, or clipboard history. As someone who likes to keep a clean and clutter-free desktop, I love how Unclutter helps me stay organized and on top of my work. For me, it's like a one-stop productivity hub. I see my clipboard history, my files app, and my notes. Quick access to notes for me is very helpful since I like to leave their lists of things I need to shoot or small things like release dates for my videos. Seeing them every time helps me stay focused on those objectives and never forget a thing. Let's shift from productivity and neatness and make a quick stop at screensavers. macOS by default has pretty good screensavers, but they are far less visually interesting as they are in Windows, where you can see new stunning photos each time you open your laptop. But Arial is here to fix that. It's fully free. Arial is a screensaver app that lets you play videos from Apple's tvOS screensaver. Aerial shots over cities and landscapes a really great way to make your Mac more aesthetic when you're not using it. Very neat app. How about another shift towards business and built-in apps? Do you ever find yourself browsing through different apps on your phone and thinking, I wish I had my own app for my business. Well, I've got a suggestion for you, App My Site, the sponsor of today's video. It's the easiest way to create your own mobile app in just a few minutes. Seriously, I recently discovered App My Site and it's a game changer. You don't need to be a tech genius or know how to code. It's super easy to get started. Just sign up on their website, enter your website URL and personalize your app's look and feel. And the best part, you can choose what content you want to display in your app with lots of options options for layouts, user behavior, colors, and more. Anyone can create an app that perfectly matches his brand, and if you want to add extra features to your app, no problem. You can integrate it with your favorite tools and services like Firebase, chat software, and even Google AdSense. Once you've personalized your app, it's time to build it, and get this. You can build your Android or iOS app in just 10 minutes. I can't believe how easy it is. And finally, you can publish your app to the App Store and the App My Site team can even help you with that. And with auto-publish updates, there is no need to worry about maintenance. It's truly hassle-free. So if you're like me and you've been wanting to create your own app, I highly recommend giving App My Site a try. It's easy, it's fun, and it's perfect for your business. So check it out and let me know what you think. Let's take a break and talk about taking a break from work. The fifth app from me is Timeout. Timeout is designed to help you take regular breaks throughout the day, which is essential for maintaining good health and productivity. It works 
works by reminding you to take a break at regular intervals and dimming your screen to encourage you to step away from your computer and take a breather. I talked a lot about streamlining work today, but it can only be about work and productivity. Some days are and cannot be on relax. So time out for me became a way to take care of myself on a very small scale. Just a couple of small breaks help reload the brain and jump into action with fresh thoughts. Definitely recommend. Okay, back to business. Number six, DocMate. This app takes the stock macOS dock and pimps it up, giving it superpowers. DocMate can also do music control straight from the dock, which should be especially useful for those of you who can't focus without music. There are other features, but these two are the most useful ones for me, so if you feel like you could do more things with your doc, try DocMate out, it's worth it. Do you ever feel overwhelmed by your thoughts and ideas? If so, the seventh app on my list, MindNote, is here to help. MindNote allows you to easily visualize and organize your thoughts and ideas. As someone who often has a lot of ideas and projects on the go, I find MindNote to be an invaluable tool for keeping everything organized. I love how intuitive and user-friendly the app is. The drag and drop interface allows me to easily create and connect notes to represent ideas and thoughts. I can also customize the look and the feel of my mind app to make it easier to understand. Oh, and it syncs up. I can also customize the look and the feel of my mind app to make it easier to understand. Oh, and it syncs all your devices too, so you would never lose the train of your thoughts even when you're away from your Mac. MindNote is a great app for anyone who wants to stay on top of their projects and goals, so give it a try, it's free. The next app is more subtle, great Grammarly. This app makes sure everything you type is perfect, it checks spelling, grammar, makes suggestions and so on. As someone who writes a lot of work and personal projects, I find Grammarly to be an invaluable tool for catching errors and improving the clarity of my writing. One of the things I love about Grammarly is how easy it is to use. You can simply install the app or browser extension and Grammarly will automatically analyze your writing as you type, offering suggestions for spelling, grammar and punctuation errors. It can offer suggestions for improving sentence structure and writing style. So for all sloppy typists out there, Grammarly is the best friend. The app is free, but it may ask you to create an account. Plus, some features are only available to premium users. Number nine, Carabiner Elements. This free app takes all macOS keyboard shortcuts and just throws them out the window. With this app, I can create keyboard shortcuts for virtually anything, from simple things like opening a new browser window to more complex things. It's really a very simple yet powerful tool that you didn't know you needed. It may not look like something extra, but pressing two keys to do complex things is priceless. Definitely recommend checking out, especially if you have dynamic workflow. And the final 10th app on my list is Timing. Timing is the app that accurately tracks how you use your time. macOS already has screen time, but Timing is far more detailed. It even creates a special timeline that shows when and for how long you've used apps. To me, it gave the opportunity to see how often I waste my time or how ineffective some processes are. With all this information, I can more accurately structure my work to minimize time losses on unnecessary tasks. Plus, it's just a great way to really see which apps you use the most. I, for example, have deleted quite a few apps after installing timing because I saw how little they mattered in my workflow. And I thought of them as essential ones. Weird. Overall, I can confidently say that timing is a real treat to anyone who wants to always spy on himself, basically. So if you want a detailed portrait of your work days, try out timing. There are far more apps that we can cover, but these 10 are my favorite finds right now. Try them out and leave your feedback in the comments. Also, if you know other apps I should look into, leave a comment as well. I would love to hear your suggestions. Thank you for watching, guys, and see you in the next one.